Do you struggle making decisions? Let's talk. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mind Right Monday. I'm your host, Bonnie Kelly. Today we are talking about empowered decision making. Well, before we dive into that, okay, because of course I'm going to give you some cool tips and strategies and tools on how to make empowered decisions because you know me. But before we get into that, let's talk about what it means to make disempowered decisions. Now, let's be honest. All of us make disempowered decisions quite a bit in our lives. When we make a decision based out of fear, based out of scarcity, based out of um, uh, lack kind of mentality, that's typically a disempowered decision making. It's coming from a place of us believing or feeling that we're not capable or that we can't cut it or that we're gonna fail or that they're gonna leave us or abandon us or abuse us in some facet. And so what happens is then we make these disempowered decisions to stay safe, to play it small, to stay stuck, to, to do what we're used to or what we're normal and not take risk or be seen or be exposed and all of these things that'll block us and keep us paralyzed in our old decision making. That's disempowered decision making. And today we're gonna talk about how we can break through that baloney and start helping you make more empowered decisions. Well, let's talk about what empowered decisions are. These are decisions that are authentic to your highest and truest self. These are decisions that are weighed and carefully calculated, both looking at the good and bad, and always standing or being grounded in this knowing that you are more than capable, that there's more than enough, that you are more than confident or competent to be able to navigate whatever life throws at you. I am now living this place, a state of mind. When I say a place, that's where I'm at. Is that that state of mind where I trust infinitely that God and the universe has always got my back. And that no matter what decision, no matter what move that I make, that I'm always protected and covered as I'm progressing and moving forward. And so as I am confidently making these decisions that are also within my means, right? I'm not saying that I went out there and bought six Land Rovers or, you know, Maseratis because I'm saying like, oh, well, God's got my back, right? Well, maybe he does if that's where you're at in your life. But, you know, maybe that's, that's coming from ego more than coming from authentic, an authentic state of being. So we want to make sure that when we're making these decisions, that when fear starts to pop up, to really begin to harness and understand that fear, to understand how that fear is going to start to influence those decisions so we can challenge and remove it so we can make a decision from a very empowered state of mind. All right, to help you do that, I got some tips and tools just for you. Let's dive right in with the first one, which is know thyself. Have a clear understanding of your mission, vision, and values in life do you know what you want? Truly. Because I think that a lot of times we think we know what we want or what we want is an outer surface item, right? We want the car, we want the house, we want the money, we want the fame, we want the success, we want these things. But really underneath the surface, what do you want? And are your values and is your mission in alignment with that? Or is it out of alignment because you're constantly playing it safe? Now, I believe that everyone has gifts and unique abilities. And if we're not being authentic, if we're not honoring our unique gifts and abilities, whether it could just be for a hobby, it doesn't have to be your career, uh, or it could be just uh, in your business or in your work or with your children, that we're not being true to our highest selves. But if we don't know these things about us, if we've lived a life because maybe you grew up in a painful environment or you had very you know, scarcity-minded parents or dysfunctional parents, and as a result that you've really never had to or you've never taken the time to truly get to know yourself. Well, if you don't know thyself, you're not gonna know what it is that you need or can or are capable of doing. So the very first step is to know you is to take some time to get to know the real you, 
the unhindered you, the uh, unlimited version of you that isn't infected by all of these outside things that tell you who you should be or how you should act or what you should do, but really truly you. Know thyself is the very first one. All right, let's jump into the next one, which is stay authentic. Now, you've heard me sprinkle some authentic sauce all over this beautiful video. I've been talking about authenticity to the left, to the right, to the left of this video. And what, we're, what I'm trying to remind you of is to get connected with the authentic version of you. You see, many, many years ago, when we first started doing videos or when we first started you know, teaching courses or classes, when I first started doing corporate events and speaking in public, Believe it or not, I wasn't in my authentic self. I was trying to be well poised and postured and scripted out because I wanted to make sure everybody knew what it is that I needed to say. Well, guess what? It wasn't authentic. It wasn't real and people noticed. And you know when things started to take off for us? Was the day that I started to let out my goofy, quirky, dorky self and say, look, I'm imperfect. I have my dogs in my video, okay? I love Star Wars and Star Trek. I just took my clothes to the dry cleaners today and got in a total Star Wars nerd out with the guy behind the counter for like an entire 20 minutes earlier today, right? Like that is authentic Bonnie. And now you're gonna see that come across my videos, in my classes, at my events, in my workshops, because I am standing in my authenticity. And when we're talking about making empowered decisions, you wanna do it from that place from that state of your self, your awesomeness, whatever your ness is, that's you. And so when we can reconnect to the authentic version of you, and it's gonna take some time for many of you to discover that because the world has grinded and molded and shaped and kind of corroded you into being in this perfect version of yourself that you think everyone else wants. And honestly, you'll never find happiness there. So we wanna step into authenticity. So if you wanna start making more empowered decisions, you need to know yourself and we need to be authentic with who you truly are. All right, this leads me to my next one, which is trust yourself. All right, this probably is gonna be the hardest one for most of you guys to really start to do. We are very good at uh, not trusting ourselves when it comes to selling ourselves short and not believing in ourselves. And unfortunately, many of us have had years and years of years of practice of not believing in ourselves or allowing our past to, um, to drive these decisions that don't serve us or beginning to make decisions that are disempowered out of fear. And so we've built up this library of all the mistakes and all of the bad decisions and all of the things that we've done that don't serve us and are not in alignment with who we are. And so of course we don't trust ourselves. Of course we built distrust between ourselves and decision-making. But guess what? To have empowered decision-making, we have to redefine a trusting relationship with ourself. We have to begin to trust that you are capable, that you are aware, that you are resilient enough to handle whatever life comes at you. As long as you're focused on learning and growing, as long as you are constantly trying to be better and to do better and evaluating all the ways maybe that you fell short that month or you didn't do things just right, but we're figuring out how could I do that better? Then we can start to build this trust with ourselves just the same as you build trust with any other friend is that it is gonna require you to start investing in you to build that bridge. All right, this leads me to my last tip of the day, which is ask yourself, will this decision bring me closer to who I want to be in three, five, or even 10 years from now? All right, I love this question. So when we can begin to create space in between our decision and the response or the reaction, then we can begin to start to decide or become more intentional about where it is that we want or what we want the outcome to look like for us. So when we can ask ourselves this question, before we make that decision, before we take that job, before we uh, quit our jobs, before we go on this date, before we marry this person, 
and we can begin to be honest with ourselves, to be authentic with ourselves, we can then begin to start to ask ourselves, is in three years or in five years, can I envision my life and where I'd want to be? And would this decision help me achieve that, help me create that, or help me stay in alignment or in attunement to that or not? And when we can start to forecast forward and we can start to really look at the impact that the decisions we make now, the thoughts we have now, that, and the impact that they're going to have on us in three to five years, you'll be much more intentional with what it is that you're thinking and feeling and what it is that you're choosing when we can look at the bigger picture. So when we can create that space in between the decision and, and uh, the, the response, you're going to be able to then allow yourself to start course correcting into the direction you want to go. All right, guys, hopefully this has helped. Uh, as always, these videos are brought to you from viewers just like you. If you have a personal development question you would like to see answered in one of these glorious videos, email it to us at getinspired at bonniekelly.me. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love making new friends, and that's how we know you want to join the BK fam. All right, until next time, I'm Bonnie Kelly. Did you enjoy this week's video? I sure hope so. If you're ready to start unleashing your personal development journey right here, right now, click the link below. Go to 21dayemotionaldetox.com slash free and you can um, snag seven days free, no credit card required, of my 21 Day Emotional Detox program. This is honestly one of my absolutely favorite products that we offer on the market. It is a great way for you to start to practice that mindfulness. Start to build trust and confidence within yourself so you can unleash the best version of you this year, in this moment, in this time. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Bonnie Kelly. Mwah.